Hey guys, this is part two series of the Q&A that we've had. Um, this next video is Aaron and Harry on Instagram. Aaron and Harry on Instagram. The next question um, is how to manage the game as a nine uh, and improve your understanding. How to manage the game as a nine? I would say, um, and this question was asked um, by Aaron on Instagram. Um, good question. Um, he's saying, and also, you know, get more understanding and seeing and get more information of what, what's in front of you. Um, I would say build a good relationship uh, with your, your, your forwards and your 10. Okay, basically everyone, but forwards and your 10. Because sometimes we just expect people to know what they're doing because that's what we're supposed to do. Build a really good connection with your forwards and your 10, okay? Because they will be your eyes and your ears. You've just got to listen, look and learn, okay? Um, face play, um, here's the thing. Know the rules, the laws, the new laws as a ninth stay Stay up to scratch with what's happening. That will put you slightly above the rest because everyone just goes off, we need to rock, we need to pass, kick, score tries, line out if the ball's out, knock on, scrum time. Know the rules. That will really, really help you as a nine, okay, to, to improve your confidence of understanding the game. The second point, the second point, I can't stress this enough. The principles of play. As a nine, understand the principles of play. The first one is contesting for possession. The second principle of play, okay, is you once you've contested for possession and you get the ball, you have to go forward. So a nine's thinking should be: once the, we've got the ball, we need to go forward. I don't care how that's gonna look, whether we run, pass, or kick, as long as you know we've got to go forward immediately. The third one would be you've got to provide support. Sometimes as a nine, we end up, get a penalty, we've contested, we get a penalty, we tap and go and suddenly we run that direction. Okay, which is fine, but there's no support. So we've got to, we've got to run smart, pick better lines where the support can come through, okay? So that's the third one. The fourth one, once you start doing that, you can now create continuity, keeping the ball alive. KBA, keep ball alive, okay? And number five would be, that's how you apply pressure on the team when you're attacking. And number six is you end up scoring. So hopefully those two things can help you manage the game better. Focus on the principles of play. Okay, the next question guys is from Harry. Also on Instagram, what are tips and methods to help play at a higher level? To play at a higher level, it's, um, I'm gonna try and give you I'm gonna try and give you uh, quick things to touch on. To play the high level, guys, your character. Number one, build your character. Have a fantastic character. Whatever position you're playing, if you're a rugby player, become a better person first. That's your number one goal. Become a better person first. On and off the pitch. Off the pitch, you're the nicest guy. On the pitch, you're ridiculous. You're horrible to play against. That's the character you need to develop, okay? Love people, love the environment. Be kind to others, okay? Be patient. The second thing would be, obviously you're a rugby player. Find out what's your superpower, what are you good at? Build on that and keep developing that, make it better. The third one would be, obviously as a rugby player, your passing, your, your running lines, your kicking, if you do end up kicking, whatever position you end up playing, your catching, your, 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 um, your tackling. What am I as a team player? Teamwork. You all know the word team stands for together, everybody achieves more. So it's less of me and more of you. That's the type of person you should be striving to become, to play at a higher level. Then the next one would be your positioning. Focus on the position that you play and how can I make it better by improving that position? How can I be a most difficult player in my position? Okay, what can make me a standout player in my position? What can I do to master the skills that's required to play in my position? Go and do a bit of research. Research on yourself, do a self-reflection. You'll be surprised what pops up. The next one would be obviously your handling. 
you know, practice catching under pressure, also catch, practicing catching not under pressure and just making a smooth pass. The next one would be obviously your communication skills, okay? Some guys don't like to say a word, but they just love being in a team environment, which is fine. But also put yourself in an uncomfortable position. Guys, when I was growing up, I was super confident. Then I ended up going to a new school um, where uh, the confidence was just knocked out of me. But I was still there. I was just then I became very quiet, very withdrawn uh, until I had to outgrow that again. And look at me. I'm on YouTube now talking, talking to people and... You know, I, and I'm a head coach and, you know, I'm playing scrum off. I had to put myself in the uncomfortable position. So that's the next point. Then be a good organizer. Okay, try new skills, guys. That's all I can say on that. So playing at a high level, hopefully I've touched on a few things um, on that. Um, and also make sure you look after yourself, um, become fitter, live healthier, um, find out what type of nowadays, you know, it's it's easier to get into a gym and, and, and get bigger and stronger than it is to work on your skills. Working on your skills um, is find, find your strengths first and build on that and then once you've identified what you can work on and spend time doing that. And like I said, the most important thing out of all of that would be have fun. Have fun. So with that, guys, I, I think uh, this video is a bit long but um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if there's any more questions please fire away. Um, I love helping people and hopefully this will help someone become a better person and a better rugby player. So with that, don't forget, like, subscribe, share and ring the bell for notifications and play this video throughout. Even if you're not watching it, play it to the end if you can. And thanks for everyone who's supporting us. See you next time.